Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the vault -Tec safe. Let's get right into the first 30 second breakdown. This is the process where in the first 30 seconds, give or take, I give you guys my exact thoughts on this product before we get into the whole review. So with this, this is something that I really needed, uh, something for my bedside that I could carry and keep my gun safe and secure uh, while Beckham was walking around. Since he is one years old now, he's uh, out grabbing everything and trying to uh, get into everything that I touch. And since I use this a lot, he always wants to try to get into it and I gotta keep my firearm safe. Uh, so this is a fantastic product for doing that. It's durable, it's rugged, it works really well. There's a lot of different features on it and uh, I don't see any child ever being able to get into this and that makes me happy and it gives me a peace of mind knowing that when I'm at work and Kayla's at home with Beckham or if I'm home with Beckham uh, I know that he's not going to get into this and hurt himself or hurt somebody and I know my firearms are safe and protected. So now let's go into my relationship with vault -Tec. They did contact me and send this to me so I did not pay for this um, and uh, their only request was that I did a post on the day that they released a new product, which I did. Uh, other than that, they didn't require me to do a review. I just really like this product and I would like to show you with you guys uh, my thoughts on it. All right, so let's get right into the review now. Now, first off, this is not just a firearm safe. I use this for multiple other things. You can use it for money, jewelry, things like that. You don't have to use it for firearms. I just personally use it for firearms and money because I wanted something to protect against Beckham walking around and making sure all my firearms are safe. So you can use this for a lot of different things, not just firearms, which is pretty cool. So let's get right into the ways to open this up. So you got three different ways on this one. Um, there are some different models that you can open up differently. You have like a key fob, a swipe thing for your bracelet, and then I believe you can do it through your phone as well. So for this one, the way you open it is you have biometric here on the front, which you just put your thumb on it and it pops open like that. You have a passcode, which I'm not gonna show you my passcode, but you can pop it open that way, which that's actually fairly quick. And then you also have a key feature down here. If your batteries go bad or you don't wanna use those, you can use the key in the front, which is nicely hidden there behind the logo. So it doesn't really stick out a ton and make people think that's a key right there. So you've got those three different ways to do it. And uh, depending on what you wanna do, or if your battery goes bad, you have multiple different options. So one of the biggest questions I had and I get a lot of people asking is the consistency with the biometric. Uh, when I first got this, I was having really bad consistency with it. It was about 50% that it would actually open. Sometimes like, I'm gonna try to get it to not open here. So there, that's what happens when it doesn't open. So I was having about 50% consistency with it actually opening versus not. I contacted vault -Tec. I said, hey, I'm really having some issues with this. And that's kind of a make or break for a safe like this because the biometric is a really key feature. And they showed me a process that made it a little bit easier for me. Uh, they told me to put my fingerprint in twice, the same fingerprint in, so you had more of the features. Make sure you're rolling it completely around, getting that full fingerprint, and just taking your time getting your fingerprints in there. Once I did that, I went from a 50% and I would say now about nine out of 10 times I'm getting it correct. Um, so I really, I mean, as you're seeing right now, I'm not having an issue with it. So I did have some consistency issues. If you do have some of those issues, make sure you contact vault -Tec and they'll be able to help you guys through that process. But like I said, just take your time and make sure you're getting that full fingerprint in there and use your same fingerprint twice. Now, another problem that I thought about was if you're in a stressful situation, are you going to be able to get your thumb on this thing and do it slow enough and consistent enough to get that open when you need your firearm? Um, I was in one stressful-ish situation. Um, this was a situation where I thought somebody was in the house and I went for my firearm and I had to go for this quick. And I'm glad it happened because I was able to kind of tell, hey, I was able to slow down enough to actually make it work. It worked the first time and I got my firearm and everything was okay. Uh, the situation was Kayla left for work. I was still in bed. Um, she came back, I didn't hear her come back. She forgot something and then she was in the kitchen. I heard somebody in the kitchen, thought somebody was in the house, went for the firearm um, and it was nice to know that I was able to get to it quickly. I didn't need to get it super fast because I wasn't like in an, an imminent fire fight because I, I knew someone was in the kitchen. So I figured it was probably Kayla because most people wouldn't just rifle through your cabinets. Um, but I wanted to grab the firearm just in case. And it was nice to know that in a little bit of a stress situation, uh, I was a little bit, you know, I woke up and I was like, oh, wow, I need to get to this. So I was able to get to it quickly, open it quickly, and I didn't have an issue. So that was nice. But I can see that being an issue in a really stressful situation for some people is being able to actually slow down enough to get your finger on there correctly and do it without not making it beep out. Because the problem is if you don't do it correctly, which if you don't do it correctly, let's see if it, 
that's kind of a long time to wait. And then you have to wait and then you have to go put your passcode in and now you can get to your firearm. So almost in those situations, I would almost just recommend going straight for your passcode and staying away from the biometric. Use the biometric for everything else, but I think the passcode is the way to go in a high stress situation because the last thing you want to do, somebody's in your house, crap, okay? Now I can get to my firearm. I'd rather just go straight to that and get to it quicker because uh, nine times out of 10, this is gonna work as well. So that was one of the issues that I kind of thought about, but I have not been in a stressful enough situation to really be able to tell. And hopefully I don't ever have to be a stressful situation to have to run and get this, but it's just something I noticed. Another question I get asked a lot is the size. How big is it and what can you fit in it? Normally what I have is I'll have my Glock 19 set in here and then I'll have an extra magazine and then I'll have a little bit of cash over here as well. So that fits very easily in there. So the other thing about the biggest gun that I was able to fit in this was a Glock 34 and that fits in there with really no issues. It has a little bit of room on the other side. I can fit an extra mag in there if I want to, put it right there on the corner and then uh, you're good to go. That's a 19 mag, so the 17 mag will be a little bit longer, about to hear, but you are able to carry a Glock 34, which is fairly large gun. So for the most part, I think really anything that you're gonna put, plus it has the red dot and a Surefire on it. So this is about as big as a handgun gets. I don't really see a ton of other people carrying bigger handguns and their nightstand. So with that being shown, you guys can see you have a lot of room um, in this safe for most handguns. So battery life with this. Um, I charged this when I first got it. I've had this for over six months and I've used it religiously. I probably use it almost once a day, if not more, because I'm always getting into it. I'm always doing videos with it. I'm always playing with it. I'm always showing somebody it because whenever someone comes over, they're always like, hey, can I see the vault tech safe? Um, so I'm really showing this off a lot and using it and I'm still at 27% battery life. So I'll probably charge it here when it gets down to like 15 because I really want to see how long it's going to last. Um, actually, I'll probably let it die completely and then I'll recharge it and then, then I'll probably keep it at that 25% battery life. I want to see how long it lasts and it's lasted me quite a while. It really doesn't take that much battery life to uh, do. The only things that it's going to be using for battery when it's actually sitting there is, which I'll let it turn off here in a second, um, these lights, they have a proximity scanner, which they turned off now. If you get near them, it's going to turn on. So at nighttime, which is in my bed, in my bed stand, and it's really dark in our bedroom, if I have to get to this, I open up the drawer or just have it there on the desk, and then I can just wave my hand over it, turns those lights on, and I can at least see my keypad that way. You also have a light on the inside you led light you can turn the brightness up or down on the app that comes with it which i'll show you here in a little bit so you have that as well your battery goes in here you have padding in the inside and then a little bit of padding on top you have these two bolts which everything is really secure i'm not going to go over all the the tightness and secureness of it um but what i will say is this thing is very very tight very durable and i don't see that everything's very tight on the, the seams that it's bolted to so i don't see someone be able to get a pry bar in here easily um, eventually they might be able to if you give someone a long enough time but if they're in your house for a little bit they're trying to break in and just take some things uh, i don't see them being able to pry this and getting it open you can also lock this down there's a cord that comes a cable that you can put in here and then tie it down to something so they can't just pick this up and take it because it is i mean it's light you can just pick it up and run with it and then deal with it later but there is a cable that you can bolt it down somewhere and then they can try to grab it and then they'd have to deal with the cable if they don't have the right equipment it's going to take them a while to get to it and they might just give up so that's another form of security with a safe so people just don't take it now for the app that comes with us, I'll layer this here real quick. Gives you a couple of nice features that shows you guys battery life, gives you guys a history log, which I just Bluetooth synced this now, and it gave me a history log all the way back from when I got the safe. So it's kind of cool to know that it keeps that all logged into it without even having the app downloaded. So, um, You'll see that there, all your logs and everything. And then it gives you the option to have multiple different safes. You can name your fingerprints, go through your fingerprints, delete fingerprints. So you can do a little things here and there with that. You can change the light sensitivity. Um, so the app is a nice little feature to add to that. Uh, it's only like a 2.6 star review. So apparently people have kind of issues with it. Um, mostly I read is, is the fact that it takes a while to Bluetooth sync. So if you want to open it up with through your phone, it takes a little bit to actually connect. And they didn't like the fact that it needs your location to use the app. Uh, but other than that, it seems to be working just fine for mine. And that's kind of cool just to have those extra little features with your phone. So now that we went over all the details, would I recommend this and would I spend my own money on it? Uh, yes, I would 100% recommend this. I do recommend this to a lot of people. A lot of my friends all have kids about the same age as Beckham, and I recommend this to all of them. I think it's a great feature to have, a great product to have, and something that I hope would save uh, my child's life if, you know, 
kids are curious and uh, unfortunately with firearms you want to have them close to actually be useful in a situation but you still want them to be very secure so I I beg you if you have children get something like this it doesn't have to be this it doesn't have to be expensive um, but please get something that uh, is going to keep your gun safe but still accessible to you because that's the whole point of having firearms is to keep yourself safe and your family safe um, and you can't do that if they're not close to you and you can't do that if they're safe and secure so just my little rant there um but definitely do recommend this and uh, i would spend my own money on it i'm gonna buy some more they have different sizes they have rifle ones they have small ones they have smaller ones that came with like the hellcat so they do have different sizes so depending on what your needs are you guys can get a really small one if you want to throw it in a backpack or you can get something like this for a nightstand um and then you can go up to a rifle size if you want something like that so i'm going to try to get the rifle one for you guys to get a review on i know a lot of people are going to be interested in these if you guys would like to get one of your own or a different style go check out vault tech they're making some really cool products uh, so i really like the fact that these can be really used for guns fantastically but you can also use them for money watches jewelry things like that depending what your preferences and what your needs are uh, you can get them and they protect really anything it's not just firearms so they have a nice wide variety of things and sizes so if you guys want to help support my page go check out my link down in the description that'll take you straight to my website from there you guys can go to different websites like brownells palmetto state aero precision premier body armor and anything you purchase using my link gives me a small kickback and shows those companies that i am generating flow which helps me out a lot and uh, gives me a small kickback to help buy ammo camera supplies editing software and things to make these reviews better for you you guys so i appreciate it if not it's not a big deal i just appreciate you guys like comment share and subscribe thank you very much